Pneumatic Conveying Pneumatic conveying systems are basically quite simple and are suitable for transportation of powder and granular materials in some kind factory such as power plant, cement, fertilizer, and plastic which is used to transport materials such as fly ash, starch, sugar, salt, sand, plastic pellets, polymers, lime, soda ash, plastic resin, and plastic powder. The pneumatic system requirements are a compressed gas, usually air, a feed device, a conveying pipeline, and a receiver to disengage the conveyed material and carrier gas. The performance of pneumatic conveyors is sensitive to several characteristics of the solids such as 1. Bulk density 2. True density 3. Angle of repose or sliding friction coefficient 4. Particle size distribution 5. Particle roughness and shape 6. Moisture content 7. Hygroscopicity and other characteristics such as abrasiveness, flammability, etc. The performance of pneumatic conveying systems depends on several factors besides the characteristics of the solids, such as the diameter of the conveyor line, the length of the line, and the energy of the conveying air. Pneumatic conveying has two mode of conveying methods. 1. Dilute phase. 2. Dense phase. If the material is conveyed in suspension in the air through the pipeline, it is called to as dilute phase conveying. If the material is conveyed at low velocity in a non-suspension mode, through all or part of the pipeline, it is called to as dense phase conveying. Almost any material, regardless of particle size, shape, or density, can be transported in dilute phase. It did however necessitate a relatively high material velocity between 15 to 35 meter per second, which necessitated more power consumes and it also can break the particle. When we need to transport both friable and abrasive materials, this method has a limitation. For the dense phase conveying method, which is used to transport material at a slow speed. It uses a small amount of air to move a large amount of material in slugs. This approach can be broken down into moving bed flow, which is used to transport very fine powder materials with a mean particle size of 40 to 70 micrometers. And the other form of flow is plug flow, which is suitable for mono-sized materials and high permeability. To choose a type of pneumatic conveying system, there are factors that have to be considered. Bulk density is the first consideration. Other factors to be considered are 1 particle size or shape 2 friability 3 moisture content 4 abrasiveness 5 toxicity 6 explosive properties basic conveying system equipment includes a fan that force material to its destination a rotary valve feeder that controls the mass flow rate to a destination such as a silo or hopper, dust collector or cyclone separator that collects dust formed during conveyance and the other basic components are rotary airlock valve, conveying line and diverter valve. Anyhow, what is the benefit of pneumatic conveying? 1. High flexibility in routing, the direction or modification of a pneumatic conveying line is relatively easy to change, which is particularly common for various product plants with many product grades. 2. High cleanliness and low potential of contamination. Pneumatic systems can be nearly dust-free if correctly constructed and maintenance. So, that is basic information of pneumatic conveying. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing.